going to tie Charlie Craven's Go to Hell variant, and I'm starting off with a size 12 hook in the vise, and to it I'm going to add a fluorescent chartreuse 70. I'll just get that going on the hook shank and trim up the excess. And now I can tie in my upright wing. And for that I'm going to use a calf body hair, and I'm going to tie this in done. So I'm just cutting off a section, clean up any of the under fur, and I'm going to put it in my stacker just to align the tips. And I'll pull that out and measure it up here against the hook shank. And I want this to extend as far as I want it to go high. So that'll, that's what I'll use as my as my measure. So I'll hold it against and then just take some wraps here. And when I've got it in tight, then I'm just going to take an angled cut through the butt section. And I'm going to be tying in a, a mostly thread body, but I don't want to add all that additional weight uh, with, with thread. So I'm leaving in uh, that butt section so it helps me with the taper. And then once I have that in, I'm just going to pull this up and I'm going to make a bit of a thread dam here in the front. And that'll help me start to keep that wing upright. So once I have that, then I want these in two sections, so two separate wings. Uh, and to do that, I'm just going to take a couple of X wraps through and then I'll start to separate those two and then once I've gotten it separated then I can take figure eight wraps and what that does then it just holds these two wings up and kind of the spacing that I'm looking for. So you can see how it looks there from the top. So X wraps to start and then once we've gotten stood up I'll come back through and again do those figure eight wraps and it does a nice job to keep them separated and slightly slightly apart. So then I'll come back through and I'm going to tie in my tag. So this has uh, a tag that goes below the bend and I'm going to use a, a silver tinsel so I've just got a flat tinsel here and it actually is two-sided. On one side it's a gold and the other side a silver. And what I've learned about this is that you tie down the tie down the side that you want up. It's a bit counterintuitive. So I'll tie it so that the gold uh, is facing me and then when I wrap it it'll it'll flip. And so as you can see here when I wrap it the silver side will be up. Now if you just have silver on both sides you don't need to worry about it. Um, but if you have two-sided tinsel like this, helpful to know. So I'll just wrap this back up to the to the thread and then tie it off. And then I can trim that excess. Now I can tie in my tail, and for the tail I go back to my uh, calf, and I'll take a section that is smaller than what I took for my wings, maybe maybe half and do the same thing. I'll clean up the bottom and I'll put it in the stacker and give it some taps and when I pull it out I'll do the same thing. Kind of measure it against the the hook shank here and I'll trim off the butt sections again. I, I want to keep some of these in to help with my help with my taper. So I'll hold that against Got a little bit of that that overlap there where I tied in my upright post or my upright wing, and then I can come back through and finish this taper off. One thing that I'll do is behind the tail here to help hold it up. I'm just going to take one wrap underneath and that'll help keep that up. So I'll just take one more 
pass through here and all that I'm doing is smoothing out any sections and then I'll bring it to the to about the midway point and then I can tie in my my hackle. So I'm going to use two different types of hackle for this, both a furnace and a grizzly hackle. And so I'll take one of each. So I'll show you with my grizzly hackle here. I'm just going to peel off some of this under fur and expose the stem. And I'll do the same thing with my with my furnace hackle. So I'll clean it off, clip the stem, and now I'll tie these in uh, together on top of one another here. And I'm just going to place the stems between the wings just so it doesn't move it to either side. And once I'm happy with that, I'll come back and dub in the thorax. And for this I'm going to use a peacock ice dub. <clears throat> so I'll take that and just dub it right on the thread here. And I'm going to dub this both behind and in front of the upright wings. So I'll take a couple of wraps in front. I'll pull the wings back. Maybe one more pinch on the front there. Again, hold the wings back and just put in that that thorax. Now I can come back through and just advance my hackle and I'm going to wrap these in together. I'm going to take maybe two or three wraps behind and then I'll do the same in front. Keep in mind that since it's doubled up you're getting twice the hackle per turn and then I'll just tie off the front Pull everything back and then I can trim the excess here. I'm going to adjust my hook just slightly just to make sure I don't let it slide. And then I'll just clip. And then I can whip finish the head. I'll build it out just a little bit more here. Trim off the excess. And then what I'll do is just put a drop of head cement on the front there. And I'll also come back and put a drop on the thread body just to help per protect it there a little bit. And that is Charlie Craven's Go to Hell variant.